J-Drone here. This is the F181DH and uh, might look a little bit different from yours. We've gotten considerable snow over the night so I had to rig something on this. That way I could go outside and I didn't have to find something to take off from. I didn't have to uncover snow from anything. I'm sitting on the snow. Um, traditionally with regular landing gear you try to sit on the snow with regular landing gear. The landing gear is underneath the middle of the drone so it's actually taking on all of the weight and it's not even evenly distributed. Um, what I've done here is uh, I've made it so I have landing gear that's completely evenly distributed and also is very low profile so it doesn't really take away from the look of the quadcopter as I'm going to show you here. I'm going to try to buzz past my face here. Um, that way the quad still looks like the quad but the landing gear is so low profile that it's really not too too noticeable but it's kind of noticeable and it kind of looks cool at least I think it looks cool but besides it being landing gear on this drone you have exposed gears on that on each bottom parts of your propellers if you look underneath them you'll see two gears a large gear and a smaller gear if you were to tip that or if you were to brush that or hit the ground with those there's a good possibility dirt hair um, debris whatever will get in there and you'll chew up your motors they did give you two extra large motors which is good but who wants to chew motors who wants to fix these you want to fly them right so this also provides as gear protectors um, gear guards if you may because uh, they're the way I have it positioned is just right along with the arms. Uh, the arms go out in a V, these go out in a V, and they also spread outwards in an opposite V to protect the arms and protect the gears. And as you can see, it doesn't affect the flyability of this drone whatsoever. Um, I calculated the weight from the actual landing gear to what I used, and it's about the same weight, so we're not adding weight by doing this at all. I do have the camera off on this. This snow is very fluffy. Um, again, a normal drone with normal landing gear would probably sink in this, uh, but because it's so evenly distributed, it doesn't, and I'm able to sit it on the snow. There's some flips for you, and uh, I'm dealing with a 17 mile an hour wind. I'm also dealing with uh, 15 degrees. It's 15 degrees Fahrenheit out here. It is cold. This thing's having zero issues with the cold. It hasn't frozen up. The battery hasn't died on it. It's flying well. The 17 mile an hour wind I'm dealing with, I'm going to chalk that up to 12. And the reason I'm saying 12 is because the weather channel says 17. But as you can see, there's houses over there. My house is completely surrounded by trees, so I have a little bit of blockage. Um, they, they're, they're stuff breaking the wind. I'm not taking full effect of the 17 mile an hour wind. I can promise you it's probably taking about 10 to 12 mile an hour, and it's doing well. Uh, I do have it in the highest speed setting. I have it in 100%. I wasn't sure if this was going to be able to fly at all out here, so therefore I threw it in a 100% speed setting just to see if it could in there. You can see the tree kind of shaking around and whatnot um, to see if it could fly, and it can fly. Am I having to fight the wind a little bit? Yeah, I'm having to fight it a little bit, but I'm not struggling it. Uh, I've had some drones in 10 to 12 mile an hour wind flying directly towards it where the drone doesn't move and is forward pitched completely where it's at like a stalemate, where it's fighting fighting and it's going absolutely nowhere this is going everywhere I wanted to and there you can see kind of the under profile almost gives it like a spider effect to it with the landing gear as as opposed to your traditional landing gear I'm liking this drone a lot guys um, I do have the camera off of it the reason I have the camera off of it is one I'm not shooting film today two cameras have vents on them because they need to be able to breathe they need to be able to cool down and if they overheat they will not work so even though the landing gear is up high enough where if I sat it down I wouldn't have to worry about the snow getting in it, I don't want a chance. The camera on this is pretty good, came with an FPV screen, transmits to the screen and I would definitely want to be able to use that so we're just flying here. We're doing a cold wind flight here and also testing my landing gear. And we're getting over there and you gotta be careful guys, I'm flying around trees in wind. This is this is a mixture for disaster. <laughs> um, I really don't want to go climbing trees, but I, uh, I'm pretty confident in my flight skills. But again, when Gus grabs this, it's going to the tree. Um, there's only so much I can do as far as uh, pilot here and actually flying it. Very cool drone. Uh, altitude hold works excellent on it. I do have a night flight, and yeah, just like that. <laughs> Zooming around, wind grabbed it, pushed it that way, and I tried to counter out of it, and it's in a tree. But good thing for this, uh, I have those guards on. Those uh, those guards actually are holding it in the tree. 
If it would have done a nosedive in the snow, it probably would have been all right. I've actually had another drone drop from about 100 to 200 feet and get buried in the snow to where I had to find it, and I pulled it out, and it was able to fly again. But we're going to show you that this uh, smashing into a tree, it's not broke. It's able to fly. We're going to set this on the snow again. It's not sinking in the snow just because of uh, the landing gear I have. And you'll have to excuse me that I didn't get uh, take off on camera. We're kind of up pitched here, so my camera didn't quite adjust properly and I apologize for that but as you can see it's in the air zero issues um, 17 mile an hour wind we're gonna say 10 to 11 mile an hour wind grabbed it slammed it into a tree I tried to counter couldn't and we're in the air uh, good drone so durability is there uh, flight time we're pushing uh, we're pushing the six minute mark here in extremely cold weather so in warmer weather if you're in warm weather you're probably gonna get a longer flight time we're gonna set this on the snow shut it down manually and uh, that'll be it I'm J drone guys please subscribe if you haven't and thanks for watching